All right, welcome to our 11 minute quality of life stretching routine. Uh, finally got around to making this. And uh, fun fact, this is actually my second time in a row doing this because last time I did it all the way through and I forgot to turn my mic on. So I'm here and I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to see you here. Uh, so I have my PDF, I got my mat, got my bench. You at home probably have chair or table or something like that. I got my wall for my hamstring stretch and you're probably gonna need a pillow as well for your head and your knees. Um, okay, so we're just gonna run through it. Like I said, I have the PDF here. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to the PDF, this whole routine's on a PDF and I'm gonna have it down for download in the captions. Um, plus, I'm gonna refer to some like beginner versions of exercises and those will kind of pop up around the screen if you need them. And we're just gonna do it through, no cuts, totally live. I'm probably gonna F up a couple times, but that's totally okay because I am not an influencer, I'm just me. We're gonna keep it real together. All right, so let's go into hip external rotation uh, stretch to start off with. Again, we're gonna go for a minute, so this is kind of like a pigeon. My hips coming up into external rotation, back is extended, back leg is extended, I mean, and then we're gonna go for a minute. You should be feeling the stretch right in the hip here. Um, again, not everyone can get into this position, so I have a beginner version up top that's gonna to be targeting the same muscles and it's just a little bit easier to get into. Um, for this, in terms of like uh, where your spine should be, try not to be like hunched over like this. Just have a nice neutral spine. Um, and another thing with during this, uh, you know, because this is like a stretching routine, you wanna kinda of do, you try to do at least like five times a week. What I like to do with these is I'll pair it with like a guilty pleasure habit. So I have my like good habit, which is a stretching routine, and then I have my guilty pleasure habit. So for me, it's like going on TikTok and reels and watching stupid things. So feel free to, you know, be on the old TikTok or whatever, read your, uh, your book or watch your show. Um, because, you know, you don't have to be perfect and meditate and, you know, just be super disciplined during this thing. Um, and I find that if you're trying to like start a stretching routine, it's important to have something that'll ease you into it. So. Uh, that was a minute, by the way. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other side. Go on left side, external rotation. Just like that. And you'll notice one side is sometimes like tighter than the other. For me, my left external rotation is tighter than my right um, because of whatever reason. I don't have any pain or issues or anything, it's just tighter. Um, I actually do remember when I was playing volleyball in high school, we, we were playing like a, I don't know, it was like a 12 hour tournament somewhere. And like I did, I was like laying down in between our like eighth match and something weird happened in my hip. And then my, my left hip is always just like more internally rotated than my right for some reason. So uh, that's why I have this weird external rotation. I've tried to form roll it. I've, I've seen therapists. I've done everything in, in, you know, under the surface of the sun and it's still a little bit uh, unbalanced, but it's okay, I don't have any pain. And if you don't have any pain, there's no issues, you're still moving, you're still grooving, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the external rotation. Let's go into internal. So I'm gonna get into my 90-90. Um, 90 degrees at the hips, 90 at the knee, 90 at the ankle, same thing on that back side. And I'm gonna twist, so the internal rotator right here. Uh, you should feel it just kind of in that, in that like uh, pocket of the hip joint right there. It's a pretty isolated, direct target stretch. Um, and hold for a minute. Yeah, so your hip will externally rotate and internally rotate. You wanna make sure it's, it's able to do so accordingly. Uh, some of you might be like here, like, oh crap, I can't get into that internal rotation. If so, boom, right up top there, internal rotation. We're gonna have you elevate that back leg on a table and you're gonna be standing on the other leg. That'll help. Do that as much as you can until you can get down to the floor. It's worth it, trust me. Being a rotation wizard in your hips feels great in squats, um, feels great with deadlifts, feels great with lunges, all that stuff. Okay, we have about 12 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, go ahead and switch sides. Again, 90-90, find your position, and then you're gonna rotate towards that back leg. It's gonna hang out there again on this side. Um, and yeah, so basically the purpose of this routine is to improve flexibility, uh, AKA passive range of motion, 
So, you know, if you're super tight, squatting deep feels weird, a bunch of things feel tight and stiff. This is a great routine to just start with. And you'll find that after doing this for like, you know, four to eight weeks, you'll start feeling looser, you won't be as stiff, you'll be able to get into better positions. And then, you know, for some of you, it's gonna bring you down a mobility rabbit hole and you're gonna be like, okay, so I have flexibility down, now I wanna get super mobile. So I wanna be able to like, be at the bottom of a squat and hang out there for a long time without any pain. Just feel strong in end ranges. And I'll be doing more videos on that, but this is your gateway entry point to the world of mobility, functional training, all that stuff. Okay, three, two, one. All right, we're done with the rotators. We're gonna go hip flexor quad stretch here. So couch stretch, back heel on your table or your couch or whatever. And then in this position, Turn your pelvis forward. You should feel nice stretch down the hip flexor. Let's go for a minute. Um, and yeah, this is kind of an extreme stretch for some folks. Uh, the knee flexion or the knee just like down on the surface. So make sure you have a pillow. And also you can, um, you can check out the beginner version of this, uh, which I believe I'm gonna do like a laying flat and then pulling your leg back with the band. Or you can do the classic, just standing up and pulling the leg back, the flamingo stretch as my uh, volleyball coach called it back in, uh, back in high school. Shout out Mr. Hilbert, the true goat. Um, I'm sure he's having a ball with all of the uh, Star Wars movies and all that stuff coming out. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna dive into the, the that. It's a world right there. Okay, we got 20 seconds, just hanging out. Just gonna check if my mic is still on. The glass is turned off. Yes, it's still on. Check, check. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch. Other leg. All right, and turn that head forward. Let's start the timer. Get the other side. Feels good. Yeah, when I say like turn your pelvis, make sure that doesn't mean like you're extending your ribs and extending your lower back. Nice neutral spine. If anything, more than neutral down here to get that stretch. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and good. Okay, let's get into the hammies. So I'm just gonna slide this mat down. Um, find your wall, so this could be next to like an open doorway. Um, I mean, it could, it could honestly be anything. So when I have my open wall here, I'm gonna scooch my butt kind of perpendicular to the wall, grab a side or the wall, and then you're just gonna sit down and rotate. Oh, I'm gonna redo that. Get super close, sit down and rotate over so you can get as tight as you can to the wall like so. Let's start in three, two, one, and go. So for some of you, this might not be a realistic position to get in. So again, right on top here, you're gonna find an alternative to the hamstring wall stretch. Uh, a little bonus fun fact or whatever addition to the stretch. If you bring your uh, elbows and your shoulders up to a 90 degree angle and you try to use gravity, to bring the backs of your palms down to the ground. You might feel a deep stretch in your external rotators of your shoulder and just your mid back. So I call this the, uh, the scarecrow. This is a good one, it's a good opener. Just basically leveraging gravity to do the work here. 20 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's roll out of that. Okay, butterfly stretch for the inner thigh, hip adductors. Also, by the way, when you come out of that hamstring stretch, don't get up too quickly because the blood's just gonna be moving around your body and you might get lightheaded or dizzy like I usually do. So just take your time with it so you don't pass out. Okay, so 
Uh, line up your spine with the wall, feet together, and then you could press down, but for most folks, this is already a stretch. Starting my timer now, and just we're gonna hang out here for a minute. And the reason I say try lining up your spine with the wall, because again, it just intensifies the stretch because you're not doing anything with your spine to take the pressure off of your adductors. If you wanna, again, we get real spicy, you can do wall slides with your shoulders like this. This is again, that's a good shoulder opener as well. Going up and down, trying to, trying to basically trace the wall to the best of your abilities. 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's get into the mid back and the spine and the shoulders. So we're gonna go open book static stretch. Let me line this up real quick. Gotta get my pillow, get your pillow. I'm gonna lay down. My, my bottom leg is gonna be extended straight. I'm gonna straighten out my whole body at the bottom side. Top leg is bent at a 90 degree angle. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna lock my pelvis and it's gonna prevent too much compensation occurring from the lower back. Now I'm gonna have my palms together here and then I'm going to open like a book towards the other side and just hang out there. Let's start our timer. Um, so this, you should just kind of feel all throughout the side of your back and right in your shoulders. For some of you won't be able to reach your palm to the ground, but do this every single day for about four to eight weeks, it'll get there. Make sure that top leg doesn't come up to kind of compensate to get your arm down. You can even take your hand and press it down on your top leg, to kind of lock everything in place. And don't like, if this is too much of a stretch for you, don't crank it and don't force it you might just have to kind of ease into it because some people that have really tight backs or really poor mobility in their spine, this is a, can be an uncomfortable one. So again, I'll post something a little bit easier at the, at the top here if you need it. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and good. All right, other side. Okay, bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Let's start our timer, open like a book. And again, this is what I mean. I'm gonna take my hand, my top hand, place it on my top leg, just so I know I'm not cheating, keeping everything nice and packed. This one feels good to kind of do like deep breaths with. You can, you can get pretty sleepy here. This is, a good, this is a good routine to do at night too. Um, basically, you know, with stretching and breathing, you stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest nervous system. Um, so it's, it's good, uh, you know, if you have trouble falling asleep, doing a little stretching routine, a little breath work right before bed will help you get into that relaxed parasympathetic, parasympathetic per, not Persian, version, I'm a Persian, version of uh, your nervous system. Sorry, sometimes words escape me. English is actually my uh, second language, fun fact. And good. All right, there it is. All right, let's finish strong with a nice uh, elevated lat stretch on our couch, on our table, on our chair. Elbows up here. We're gonna sit back on our heels. And what you wanna think about is flexing at the elbow joint. So you know when you do like a bicep curl, that's what you wanna do and just press your hands on your mid back to really get that stretch through the lats. I'm gonna start my timer. Hang out at the bottom here. So much fun. And this is gonna be our last stretch. So, boom, done, just like that. You're already more flexible than you were uh, 12 minutes ago. Amazing. And if you keep it up, you'll permanently be flexible than you were 12 minutes ago. So, yeah.
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and a 1. Okay, nice. Hey, great work. You're done. You did it. You got it over with. Um, so uh, thanks for joining me uh, on this uh, stretching flexibility uh, adventure. Hope to see you every day. Hope you can do this uh, for every day or five times a week for at least four weeks and you're gonna see a big jump in quality of life because you're gonna be more flexible. You're gonna be bendy. You're gonna be able to get into positions you weren't before and you're probably gonna decrease your chance of injury. Or let's say mitigate. Um, one thing that I wanna experiment with, maybe this will help uh, keep you accountable. Every time you do this um, follow along uh, stretching thing, uh, comment down below with uh, the date how you felt before you stretched and then how you felt after you stretched. So this will be kind of a cool thing to associate with this video and with this routine. Um, and it'll be kind of like a cool way to record like, oh, like, and I, and I guarantee you're gonna feel better after the stretch, unless something weird happens and you get injured, which I hope really doesn't happen. But anyways, let's, let's all do it. I'm gonna do it, you do it, we'll hold each other accountable. I'm gonna comment on most people's things. If it blows up, I don't know if I'm gonna comment on everyone's, but if it's just us, I'll, I'll definitely comment on your thing if, you, if you're doing it every day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All of the modified versions are down below, the PDFs down below, other info about us down below. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.